Good day and welcome to the Tax Year End video for Sage Pastel Payroll and HR. This video will assist you in processing your final period, creating a copy company and updating your system into March. Please ensure that you are on 2018 Update 3 or later by selecting on Help and About. Ensure that you are in the final processing period of the tax year by selecting on Utility, System Status. Please run your exception report by selecting on View, Statutory Report, IRP5, IT3A Exception Report. Print the report for all employees and select the print status as both. If it is only the tax numbers that are missing, you can still import the electronic certificate into Easy File with warning. However, SARS require for each employee to have a tax number. If you have any employees who will be on maternity leave during year end, you will have to reinstate them in the last processing period of the year on their current master file. After the year end process is complete, you must remember to terminate them again. Perform the final calculation and print your payslips by going to Process, Payroll Run. Select Next. Select your Payroll Run option and filter for all your employees. This is just a warning that you have to run the IRP5 IT3A exception report and ensure all exceptions are cleared off. Select OK as this was previously completed. And Process. Once completed, generate all your usual reports for the month of February by selecting on View, Statutory Report. You can now print the EMP201 and create the UIF electronic declaration. It is recommended that you print the monthly analysis report by selecting on View, Payroll Report, Monthly Analysis. Print the report for all employees. Select the number of months as 12 and select Show Details. Please save this report to be used for your submission period. We can now do a pay period update into year end by selecting Process, Pay Period Update. Select Next. This is just a warning to advise that check and bank transfers have not been created. The system will advise you to please make a backup as this is the final period in payroll. Select OK. Please create a new folder and call it Year in 2018. Once the backup is completed, select Close. Select Next and Process. Select Utility, System Status to ensure that all your active pay frequencies are in year end. Process the year end update by rolling over into the new financial year by selecting on Process, Year End Update. Please ensure to make a backup. You can make the backup into the same year end 2018 folder. Select to make a copy company and call it YEND 2018. This will be the copy company used to complete your annual submissions. Select Next. The next screen is just to confirm that all processes were completed in the current process and some might be done in the copy company. Select all three and select Next. Payroll will now give you the option to delete or terminate employees. Select on Filter, 
It will reflect all your employees, but will only delete the terminated employees. Select OK. And select Delete. Select Next. And Finish. Go to Utility, System Status, and ensure that all your active pay frequencies are now in March. You can process your March payroll as per normal. Thank you for viewing the video and enjoy your day.